welcome back to Brooke's Beauty Bazaar. My name is Brooke and in today's video I wanted to share with you guys how I clean my makeup brushes. Now there are two things that are going to be a little bit different about my video versus a lot of the other ones that you'll see out here on YouTube. The first being that I'm going to be focusing on using a cleanser that is fungal acne safe. So all of you guys who follow me for my fungal acne safe tips, you will be happy to know that you are taken care of in this video. And then the second thing is I have kind of streamlined the process of this and also I have the best hack for you guys that I saw on Instagram a while back and I will try to link the person who I got this hack from below so you guys can check out the original video but it will change the way that you clean your makeup brushes forever. It is so helpful. All right, you guys, that's all I have to say. Let's go ahead and get into this video. So I like to start off by sorting my makeup brushes into cups and I will usually sort them either based on the type of brush that they are or by their size. And when I'm finished with that process, I generally end up with three bouquets of dirty brushes like so. Now we're going to need to gather the rest of our supplies. I'm gonna use four hand towels, but the amount you need will vary based on your collection size. You also need a bowl and a cup, and then you wanna choose a gentle cleanser, and for fungal acne, I like to use the Aveeno Baby Cleansing Therapy Moisturizing Wash. And then finally, the tool that is going to change your life, a handheld sieve. And before I get to washing, I just like to set up my drying space with two towels folded oblong and a third one doubled over in the center. Now I'm going to fill up my cup with water and the bowl we're going to put a generous amount of cleanser inside of. All right, you guys, so now I'm going to take it over to the sink where I'm setting up my washing station. Now I start by dipping the brush into the cup of water and then I give it a good dip into the cleanser and we go right over and start washing it on the sieve. You'll notice that the suds coming off are um, tinted the color of the makeup products that were in the brush and you can do this process a couple of times until the suds turn pure white. That's how you know that all the particles are out of the brush. And then when you are ready to rinse it out and dry it, I like to tap it out on the side of a bowl and then I will take one hand towel and reshape the bristles and just give it a good pat dry before I lay it on my drying station. And then I'm gonna repeat this process again and again. Um, one hack that I like is to use brushes of the same size so that you can do more than one at a time. And you can change out your water cup periodically through this. Um, the only reason I have the water cup is to soak the dirtier brushes and also to just save the running water. So you'll notice that I'm picking up about five brushes here and that is just so that this process will go a little bit faster because on the larger brushes, you'll probably need to let them soak a little bit and then clean them one at a time. Last but not least, I will wash my makeup sponges and some of my smaller detail brushes by hand as well so that they stay in the best condition possible. Now, for your makeup brushes to dry, you're gonna wanna leave a minimum of eight hours. Of course, the small brushes are going to dry a little faster, but for best results, I usually just leave mine overnight and they are all perfectly dry by the next morning. Okay, you guys, so that wraps up today's video. If you guys were interested on getting your hands on some of that Aveeno baby wash that's fungal acne safe, I'm gonna link it below along with a few of my favorite brush sets that you can get for a little bit cheaper on Amazon and all of my favorite fungal acne picks. Don't forget, if you also love beauty, fashion, pop culture, and all the shiny things in life, go ahead and press the subscribe button right now so you don't miss anything from me. If you wanna check out more Brooks Beauty Bazaar, you can find me over on Instagram with my name at Brooks Beauty Bazaar or you can check out my blog, brooksbeautybazaar.com. All right, I hope you guys are doing really well, and I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.